That's a big one right there, you know? How much weight can you fit in that? All the weight. <laughs> All the weight. I'm Jason McCarthy, co-founder of GORUCK. We're here at GORUCK Scars in Jacksonville Beach, Florida. Sunny Jacksonville Beach, Florida. GORUCK Scars is basically our lifetime guarantee. You break it, we fix it. Let me show you. Here we are inside GORUCK Scars with my main man, Monster. The GORUCK world kind of collides in here. Yeah, it was nice and open, which is something that we like, you know, it's, you see people more better often if things just kind of open and that's how you live your life. So we like that about it here. We've got some of our packs hanging from the rafters. We've got, you know, flags from our roots in Army Special Forces. Patches are a big deal at GORUCK, so we've got a lot of those covered all over the place. These are patches that represent, you know, various RUCK clubs or it's patches that people have earned. This is where we have sewing machines, people doing that kind of work on repairs as well as customizations, and a whole lot of magic and love goes on as well. This is a good reminder for us that our gear is built and it's hard to build and it's built by hand. It also ends up being where we test stuff, make sure it's strong enough. So anytime you walk in here, we got tons of sandbags, means we got lots of opportunities for you to pick them up and see how you can do with them. Some of them are way too heavy. This is like Excalibur. If you can pick that one up, you are pretty special. We, we have not seen anybody pick that up yet. We host a lot of community workouts here, social fitness, let's call it. And people come and we just take this stuff and we put it outside and then we just kind of move it. There's rucksacks, there's ruck plates, there's medicine balls, sandbags. Take your pick. If you pick that up and carry it, you get stronger and you have fun doing it if you do it with other people that are also doing it. The other thing that we would do at an event is if you hold something like that, it represents the burden of leadership. Works with pretty much anything that weighs anything. It's like, how long does it take to get this kind of stuff on the walls? Like, my whole life. It takes our whole life to get this kind of stuff on the walls and just the way that we like it, it's a constant sort of evolution. The most special part about these machines is the people that work them. That's how we roll around here. The most important part of working at SCARS is to be culturally aligned with GORA. You gotta have attention to detail and you gotta be part of the relentless pursuit of excellence. You gotta also not be afraid to fail. We have all different sorts of colors of thread and we've got you know different colors of Velcro and webbing and you know, it's because you send something in, sometimes you want something to look a little more special, a little more you. You gotta have options. We like to nerd out on thread and nylon. My general guidance is make sure to get the stuff that is the absolute toughest on planet Earth for the job at hand because it fails less. And so what happens is then we don't see rucksacks come back that fail because we chose cheaper material. You wanna nerd out on buckles and zipper sizes. And I mean, it just goes on for days. It goes on all the, the shelves and that was a lot heavier than I was expecting. This is kind of like fabric inventory. Cause if you send something in and you want us to patch it up or customize it or add something to it, we gotta have that fabric here in order to do it just right. Got some reflective stuff. Those look like kid rucks to me. That's pretty sweet. The pop culture stuff, we love it. It's fun to just be in a place that just looks exciting. It looks like there's energy around, like someone actually thought about it. Photo shoots around here, and it's kind of like half a gym. You get all the gym that you need here. Interior design by GORUCK starts with an American flag. Find some big place and put a big, awesome American flag. Someone comes in and they just gravitate towards it, and it's like, that looks awesome. We even got cool shit in the bathroom, right? We got like all the stuff you learned from the Godfather, right? I mean, you ever go in a bathroom and it sucks, right? And you're like, why didn't somebody give a shit about this bathroom? You got like, important knowledge that you need to know these things. Like what are terrorist weapons? That's important stuff to us. JFK is, is important to me and to us. So he authorized the wear of the Green Beret for Army Special Forces. So he's a president beloved by Green Berets. And this is an important message. Welcome to GORUCK, we are always free. Freedom isn't, so you know, you gotta, gotta fight for it and earn it sometimes. Plenty of beer in the fridge. People's weird lunch stuff too, you know? What else? You always gotta have the, the sort of, the fun Smashing Pumpkins reference. You see a lot of that at, at the house too. Go Ruck 
would not exist without 9-11, right? Because that inspired service and I felt it was important to join the Army and to fight for our country. And so this was one of the posters that was floating around New York City through the FBI and the NYPD. Not everything about life is super easy, but you, you gotta kind of remember your roots to, to not forget them. J1 here, making some custom embossed stamped leather patches, which is pretty cool. This is my standing desk. I can't sit down at a desk anymore. It just doesn't work for me as well. I made the switch and have definitely not gone back. Kind of like a cowboy corner. You don't really know I'm here. You just kind of pop in until you do. A nice sweet bat from the Rogue Invitational or, you know, like, awesome battle axe, just, just in case. You never know when you need an awesome battle axe. Over here, you got the national treasure, Richard Rice, sitting in the true cowboy corner, basically just running shit around here. I'm trying to stay ahead of you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> he insisted on having the James Bond in the background with the Aston Martin. That's about right. The eternal question is where do ideas come from, right? And it really comes in a lot of ways from usage or affinity. Like, I have this problem and I need to solve it. Like I wanna carry this certain way or I need to type a pocket for this type of thing. Or I remember this thing that I used to use and how do we modernize it? Use modern materials or modern construction or whatever the case may be. We have a conference room in here. We call it the champagne room. It's pretty tight. You got a whiteboard in here and you never know what you're gonna get. Sometimes you get like badass knives. Pretty sweet, right? Yeah, I think that's about it. So if you're ever in Jack's Beach, you wanna come for a workout, you wanna come for a beer, just come on in, say hi, we'd love to see you.